Hello everybody, welcome to episode 26 of All the Mods 9 to the Sky, where we get Dark Armor uh, and Dark Matter. So yeah, let's jump into this episode and see the way we automate it. Alright guys, hopping into this next episode here. Uh, let's get a craft. Let's teach this how to make crafters. Uh, it's one of the things that I've been wanting to get done for a while is have some uh, RF tools being taught to this system. I think all we need is tier one. Crafters, 98% sure. But uh, might as well get it to understand how to make tier 2 and tier 3. I think we only need tier 1. Let me get these in here. To the system. We're, we're almost to the point where, where Malcor is going to need to build the flower. So let's make the tier one real quick and take a look at this. Uh, the machine can handle up to two recipes. We're going to need more than just two. This machine can hold up to four. Okay, that's the one we know. That is the one we want. Okay, so we've got the crafter. We need a functional storage. Um. Simple two by two. We're gonna need a pooler upgrade from this. All right, so that is all good. And I want a. Yo, I want a downgrade. Let's let's make one downgrade for right now for this. Um so now all I need to do is at at project E, we're gonna take the Philosopher's Stone with us. We're gonna need some coal to get this all started with. Five of these. And I want four of these. Oh, I'm going to need more. All right. Actually, no, 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 no. Um, This is only going to be using three of the four spots in this. Okay, so one of the spots will be Mobius Fuel, another one of the spots will be Alchemical. I don't know if you guys can hear that out there. Somebody in, with a motorcycle just drove by my uh, door. So at Functional, I need uh, the configuration lock that up and so we can take this out and this out and we have coal on us so we're going to come in here we're going to double click this up recipe we're going to say we want external c which means whatever stays in this buffer here won't get put out to here so we're going to say a uh, philosopher's stone uh, and four pieces of coal. Okay. We'll make alchemical coal. So we want it to know how to make alchemical. Next. We're going to take four pieces of alchemical coal. Uh, and the philosopher's stone. Uh, that's Mobius fuel. We'll apply that as well. Go here to this one. Alchemical coal. We'll take four pieces of alchemical coal. 
and this. And now we know how to make Mobius fuel. All right, so that is good for this. Next, we want to fill up the rest of this. Um, with just stone. So we can say, remember this. And that way stuff gets remembered and... can easily prevent more than just one stack of everything from being in here. Uh, also, we can set up it to remember spots down here uh, so that it doesn't uh, just put a bunch of stuff in there. So we're going to need a bit of coal here. Cause I want it to make some mobi or some eternalist fuel. So, uh, so now we've got sixteen of these. Uh oh. What did we do wrong here? We did not make this eternal sea. So we'll just apply that. We'll double check that one. There we go. So now we've got four pieces of Mobius. And now we've got the first piece of Oternalis fuel. Now, what I could do here is I'll remove that spot, put this in here, remember this, and come here to this and say, uh, nine of these will make a block of this. The reason why is we're going to need blocks of our uh, eternalist fuel. So might as well just have it make it uh, automatically. So we're going to need what? Three, four, five... Probably eight stacks of uh, coal. Oh, and we're also going to want to put, uh, yeah, we already had it in there once. So we just need two more stacks of coal. It'll be enough of this to make enough of this to get our first one of those. So now that it's remembered all four of those outputs, uh, we can easily... this in here and now uh, let's set this up uh, in the back here so what we will need is a storage bus here okay uh, this could be bi-directional so that's fine and we're going to need an exporter here. All right, so what we're going to teach it is that it will take um, it will put in here the eternalist fuel coal alchemical coal, and Mobius fuel. That's it. That's all it does is do that. Now we can set this up like this, and we will see that uh, 
somewhere along this line, we've overcrowded our nets. Um, to fix that, we are going to take this cable. this way so we already have this line and we're gonna fix this line um, Fix this line, and I will be hopefully getting it done quickly. Okay, guys, just a few minutes later, and there we go. This should now be pushing out. Uh, one of the things that is taking a while is uh, this needs some acceleration cards. So. Let's see how many it can take. One, two, three, four, five. It can take five of them. So we'll make uh, five acceleration cards. I hear that being made. That's kind of nice. There we go. We've got the five five acceleration cards in there now. So now, like pumping that in. But we notice that's not pulling this out. So what we need to do here is put the uh, storage. We only want one stack of stuff being kept. And we will say downwards. There we go. And yes, it, it's pulling and making them as fast as possible. So wait, wait until we get a stack of uh, alternative steel done up. You saw there that it pulled it up and uh, should pull and drop them in. And we could actually change this so that this is fast. Um, I could actually have something pumping it in by itself, but you know, this works quite well. It will handle all of the uh, issues that we're going to have. So, yeah. Um, Oh, so only four acceleration cards can go in there. Uh, we'll let this build up for a few moments, and uh, let me see what the next course of action is for this. Okay, guys. Uh, figured out where we're going next. We need to make Enderium Blend. And uh, first thing we need to do is pulverize diamond. So we'll set that up to do through our pulverizer. So we just pulverizer. There you go. You got the diamonds. Now, uh, Enderium Blend is... Uh, really, we're going to need lead dust. So let's do lead dust. Um, lead dust from there. Pulverizer. Recipe. There we go. Another one into the pulverizer. We're going to have to definitely upgrade the pulverizer here in just a second. 
uh, Enderium blend. So we should be able to now teach it how to make the Enderium blend. Uh, and we should be able to make Enderium ingots with Enderium blend. Toss that in there. The uh, Enderium blend there. So now we should be able to say Enderium. Give it a few seconds to get the pulverizer going and crushing all of that stuff. I, I really need to speed up that pulverizer. You might want to take a look at that here in just a second. All right, there we go. We got the uh, Enderium. Now, why we've been automating all of this stuff, we want to automate dark matter. So we're going to need to um, automate the summoning altar here, the, the summoning altar recipe right here. And so what we're going to do here is um, dark matter okay so we can come in here we can teach this this recipe but what we're going to have to do here is uh i want to teach it first how to make all of this stuff on its own okay um And doing so, okay, so now it knows how to make everything that it needs. Let's see here, fuel. There's the Mobius fuel. We put that as our very last item. I'm gonna go here and say, uh, Ethereum. That's the very first item. Um, we should be able to do this so we can take a pattern provider and uh, this summoning altar here. Take it downstairs. And let's let's see if we can automate this, okay? So first we'll try it this way. We'll place the summoning altar here, the pattern provider here. Okay. We'll say you go down. And we put the dark matter in here. So if we say dark matter, okay, it's still missing one of those fuel blocks. I don't understand why okay maybe it just didn't understand that it had the ability to do that okay so let's say dark matter okay so it does make the dark matter okay so we can automate it this way uh, we just need something to pick up the dark matter 
So how about an absorption hopper? If I'm not mistaken, we can uh, filter the absorption hopper. No, we can't filter the absorption hopper. Uh, what can we filter? Uh, do, do, do. Well, we could actually put a modular router uh, vacuum emulator. Can I not touch you how to make paper? Um, paper. All right, uh, vacuum module. And a placer for dropper. Not dropper. Um, wait, wait. I didn't make the vacuum hop here. Or module. Okay, we can tell this that it will pull a uh, dark matter. And we need what? What is the alternate uh, item in this uh, cinder? That's it. We need a cinder module. All right. So now that we've got the cinder module, that we can get a modular router. Right, so we do have one left of the modular router, so we can set this up, say, right here. Nope, not there. Say, right here. Uh, you will grab that and send... To the left side. Okay. And let's just set you on to eco mode. And there we go. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there with the dark matter. So let's let's grab the other vacuum. Cuz the only thing that really should appear in that is the one thing uh especially if I say shrink this down to a 3x3. Three uh, we can't shrink the size of it. How about this? Show us the area. Okay, you're, you'll be fine. Go down. And now, say dark matter. Uh, make three of those.
why do you get so stupid about the Eternalist fuel? I might have to set something up here. Um, like it never hit it with the Eternalist fuel. All right, so we can automate dark matter. We can go on to making other stuff here. We can even make dark matter blocks, which uh, if you guys don't know, is a heat source uh for thermo generators which really produces a lot of power or 100x on the lava production over here so we could actually replace all of those uh superheater elements out with the dark matter block uh, that might be something to do between episodes. Let me see how much time is left and uh, be right back. Okay, guys, I, I decided to play around with this just a little bit. And there's a reason why we have exactly 27 dark matter. And uh, that logic is, well, I want to look stylish. I guess it's not 27 that we need. Uh, it's... What? What is it? Uh, 24 is what you need. But now we can uh, take off our battle armor that we've been wearing for a while now and put on... And put on... Dark armor. So yeah, we we we're, we're officially dark armored. So that's it for this episode, guys. If you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, hit this dislike button. Uh, and until next time, later, Gators.